What's going on NEM crew? Just getting ready to head out this morning. And it seems like it's a beautiful day out. It's a beautiful day. A little cold, but that can be expected this time of year. Today's a very big day. I'm very excited to say the least. I'm going to see one of my favorite teachers in high school, my auto teacher. So that's going to be on the agenda for today. But before we do, I want to bring the dots in there. There's one problem. Last time I was driving it after we did the welding, the patch, the signal stopped working. So I don't know if it's because we took out some of the wiring harness um, that goes to the actual dash, um, just to make sure that we get that stuff out of there so we don't have any uh, issues, we don't melt anything, we don't cut anything. So when I was driving home, there's no signal. So we're gonna see if we can tackle that right now, figure out what the issue is, and then probably be the Datsun's last run of the year, fill it up with full tank of gas before I put it back in the garage and that'll pretty much be it for this year. Made it to the garage after battling trying to find my shoes. But I'm gonna say right now I am not really good with electrical. It's not a strong suit of mine. I leave that up to Anthony. So we'll see if we can get the signals working. If not, I don't know if we're gonna be able to take this. We'll see though. All right, so I'm just gonna do the basic test. The thing that's worrying me is the lights work, like your headlights, high beam, low beam switch, which is connected to the same switch on the actual mechanism here. So I'm hoping it's not something to do internally with the actual signal switch, just cause you gotta order parts, you gotta find the parts, all this extra time. Good news is though, like I said, it's going into storage, so. We have time over the winter to sort this out. So I'm just gonna turn the key in the on position as you can hear the Datsun's wonderful beep. And then I'm gonna turn the lights on. So lights are working. So if you see the light that comes on up here, our high beams are switching. So the switch is functional for that sense. Um, I don't know if you could tell up there, the lights are on and they're switching. So we are getting power to the switch. It's just every time I turn the signal, nothing happens. So this is where we're stuck at. This is the part that I'm like, I don't know what to check next, what to do, but we'll figure it out, don't worry. All right guys, so I've been at it for about 20 minutes now and I realized the horn wasn't working either. So what I start to do is put the wiring harness back into the connectors because there was a ground figured maybe the ground um, has something to do with everything. Connected the ground, didn't really change anything, and then I found one piece of wiring from the wiring harness that um, was previously cut that we attached, um, but the connection uh, came loose. So I reconnected that properly, and the horn works, which is good news, I mean. So horn works, but signals don't work. So I was thinking maybe the bulbs could be out, causing the circuit not to not to work properly. Um, so I put the hazard switch out of the center console in and tested it. It works fine. So it might actually be something to do with this switch or something to do with some wiring that goes to the switch. So it's going to be a little bit more um, diagnosis for sure. So I guess I'm not going to be taking the dots in today and we'll figure that out later. All right, guys. So it actually just started raining. So it's it wouldn't be able to bring the dots in out anyway. Not that I can't drive it in the rain, I just, uh, with the tires that are on it and stuff like that, they're really, really bad. Trust me, they're really, really bad. So, I wouldn't want to bring it out in the rain. So, now, we gotta go pick up Anthony, and then we're gonna go straight to see my teacher. Let's do this. And his teacher, actually. We both have the same auto teacher. That's why, you know, he literally made us into the automotive geeks that we are now. So... Be nice to catch up. All right, guys, just uh, got to Anthony's swap cars. We're in the STI. The blue, you can't even see the blue on the seats. We're in the STI, and uh, let's uh, let's go see our old teacher. But we got lots more things to do today. Got to get our haircuts, 
and we have to film a video. A secret video. So you, let's do it. <laughs> it's a big secret. Nobody a, knows. Yeah. We just told you, but no one knows. Alright, so we just finished up at uh, our meeting, I guess you could say, with uh, our teacher. It was really nice to catch up. It was awesome. Now we have to go filming and then a haircut. So let's continue the day. We made it to the film shoot, but we don't have enough time to get everything we want done. So we're going to come back another day and get some stuff finished. But we made some progress, which is good. Now on the haircuts, and that's it for this day.